Now, various stakeholders in the power and commerce sector have called on the federal government to tackle the issues prevalent in the supply of power across the country. At the Abuja Electric Power Roundtable organized by the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry on Monday, the president of the chamber, Al Mujtaba Abubakar, lamented the poor growth in power generation over the years and called on the government to strengthen the privatization of the power sector. Here's the report as compiled by Benedict Uku and presented from our studios. At the first Abuja Electric Power Conference, which was held on Monday, various stakeholders had a roundtable discussion on the way forward in tackling poor power supply in the nation. At the event organized by the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry on Monday, the president of the chamber, Al Mushtaba Abubakar, stated that it was embarrassing that the generation of power was too low despite 60 years of independence. South Africa was producing 40,000 megawatts. That was 20, 2003. I don't know how much that is now. 25% of the population is producing 40 megawatts. And Nigeria is still producing less than 10. I think honestly that is a shame. And all of us sitting here know that there will be no progress without adequate power. I know a lot of industries. I'm a chartered accountant and I have spent a lot of my life auditing companies. And one of the biggest problems they are having is power. All the textile industries in Kaduna, majority of them are closed today because they don't have power. So power is very, very important. I mean, we don't need to emphasize that. Everybody knows. If I'm the president of this country, I will just dedicate one, one year's budget to power. Let's get it out of the way. Benedict Obu, the general manager of business development, Transmission Company of Nigeria, who represented the managing director, stated that the exchange rate was a factor to consider in the cost of power. What can we do as a nation in terms of power? What is our ability to pay for power? Do you know that power is important in Nigeria? Fully important. From the generators, through the TCN, the wires, the transformers, everything, not, no item used in the power sector is produced in Nigeria. So everything in the Nigerian power sector is wholly, fully important. Therefore, whatever is happening in this in the exchange rate of, of the Naira is affecting the power sector adversely. Please put those into consideration. On its part, the representative of the managing director of the Nigerian Electricity Liability Management Company, Adebayo Fagwemi, spoke about regulating the industry. The legal rights and stance that have a legal right and stand to perform this very important assignment. And we are pleased to announce you that this has been the reason why some of the assets disposed happen to accrue lots of value as regards what was sold during privatization and during the monetization policy. Balami Baka from the NNPC shed some light on the matter of gas and the hike in prices. And NNPC is willing to continue supporting our power partners, but the price of gas has to be right. We run as a business too, and that true, uh, that true cost um, that will pass through to everybody is not as if we are inflating the price, is that you have to bring that uh, gas from the subsurface, you have to process it, you have to do some level of treatment, and then you do transportation. We're all aware of what is even happening in the LPG. Today, everybody is complaining LPG is expensive, LPG is expensive, and it is true, it's expensive because at a particular point in time, some level of like um, subsidizing was done and um, kind of like tax holiday was given. But today now we're seeing that everybody is saying it's expensive and it's having a ripple effect in the economy. As small to medium scale and large businesses require power to function properly, low power generation has to be tackled as a matter of urgency so as to aid the growth of the economy.